Hello, in today's video we're going to be making the second half of the jellyfish. So again, I'm using a size H hook, a 5mm, and um, a worsted weight yarn. This is part two. Um, so we're going to start off with making the bottom of the body. So to do this, you're going to first make a magic ring. And then within the magic ring, you are going to do five single crochets. I do apologize, the dryer is running in the background. I feel like I always have laundry going in my videos. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then after you make your magic ring, you're going to do an increase in every stitch so again an increase is two single crochets into the same stitch of course it's going to be difficult there we go so there's one Increase into the second stitch and then two single crochets into the third stitch and my son is very unhappy back there with daddy. Two single crochets into the fourth stitch, and two single crochets into the fifth stitch. Um, you can use a stitch marker like last time um, if you have trouble remembering um, where your first stitch was. Now you should have 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so in row round, oh boy, here we go, 3, you're going to um, do an increase in each, in each stitch again. And then I have a stitch marker this time. Gonna throw that bad boy in there. And then your second single crochet into that first stitch. Two single crochets into your second stitch. Two into your third stitch. And you're going to continue that for the whole entire round. And I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so we are down to the last two stitches. You're going to do an increase in each of those stitches. Continue doing increases into those stitches. Alright, so that is the end of round three. So for round four and five, you're going to single crochet into each stitch. Put my stitch marker back in there. And 
and then just single crochet into each stitch. At the end of round three, you should have 20 stitches. So rounds four and five should also have 20 stitches. And again, you're just doing a single crochet into each stitch. And I will meet you back at the end of round five. Okay, so we are at the end of round five. And now we are just going to fasten off and um, pull up a pretty long tail. Apparently I'm going to go, I'm going to need to go get my scissors. And then fasten off, pull it tight. And then like I said before, I like to pull my yarn so that it's, the knot goes underneath and the tail is on the outside. And again, I always turn it so that um, my tail is on the inside. Um, so the difference is here, you kind of have X's as your stitches. And then this way, you have the V's. This is the front of the stitches. And then this is the back, obviously. So, um, some patterns it doesn't matter, but um, in other patterns, if you have to work the just the front loop or just the back loop, um, it's going to matter for your project. And then, we don't really need this guy anymore. These scissors will cut it. Okay, next we are going to make the coils or the arms or the tentacles, whatever you want to call them. So to do that, we're going to first make a chain of 60. Once you have your chain of 60, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Um, it doesn't matter if you go into the front V or the back loop or the side, just as long as you're consistent throughout the entire thing. Okay, <clears throat> you're actually, I'm sorry, you're going to do two single crochets into the second chain from the hook. And then you're going to continue doing two single, cro two single crochets um, in each chain for the um, remaining chains. So you're going to do an increase in every chain. And then as you go along, you will notice that your work will begin to curl. And that's fine, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, so just continue doing two single crochets in each um, chain, and I will meet you back um, at the end of the chain.
Okay, so here we are at the end of the chain. I just need to put two more single crochets into this last chain. So once you get to this point, you um, are going to fasten off and leave a long tail so that you can sew it to the bottom of your jellyfish. And you will get um, some curling, some crazy curves, um, but that's just how it goes because every tentacle or arm or whatever is going to be different. So I'm just going to fasten off and just come in here and And then pull up a long enough tail, cut it, tighten that up, and this time you, I mean it's not going to matter if you tuck it in or not, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So you're going to want to make at least seven of these, if not um, more. It's your preference on how many you want to make, um, but at least seven. So go ahead and do that, and I will meet you back once I have all seven. Okay, so now I have all seven of the arms, tentacles, things. This is, um, what they should look like. They might be a little more curvy. It all just depends on the way that your crochet turned out. So there's all seven of those. And then here is the bottom of the body that we had made earlier. And the top of the body that we made in the last video. So what you want to do now is you want to turn this guy so that this, the bottom is um, facing up and as long as it is stuffed to the desired firmness, you should be good to go. From here you can either sew this on like this or you can sew it on like this. I'm probably going to do it like this. Um, so now all that is really left to do is sewing on the um, parts of your jellyfish. So I'm just going to make the great attempt of threading this. So I'm just going to position this, I think I'm going to start like that. Hopefully you're able to see this, I can't see if it's in focus or not. And then you're going to take this and you're just going to sew it in behind these here, the flabby things, the bottom of the body. Alright, so I think I'm going to go in right here and make my first connecting stitch. You can add a little bit more stuffing if you want to make it puff out or, you know, just, I think I'm going to probably do mine kind of like that. I like that. And then I'm going to come in through, maybe here, and pull that through, maybe. And then I'm going to go back in. I 
be right there. And you're just going to continue doing this all the way around until this bottom of the body is on and this is sewed shut. So I will meet you back when the body is sewn closed. So, after you're done sewing this in, um, like you saw, I went back and I had found that hole. So you want to make sure there's no holes so that it's not going to come open, your stuffing isn't going to come out. And once you are completely done and you've tied it off a couple times, I like to do it at least twice in the same spot or try to in the same spot just to make sure that it's not gonna come undone or anything and then you're just gonna go as close to that knot or as close to where your working yarn is coming out and you're gonna stick your needle in there and then just come out the side so you can hide that yarn in there and then you can take the yarn off the hook so this is what mine looks like the bottom of it this is what it looks like um, from the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the arms, the tentacles, the things, you know, I don't even know. So depending on how many you have, um, just spread them equally throughout here. Um, I made seven, so I'm probably going to put them I don't know, maybe every one or every other one or something. Not sure. We'll see. So that out of the way for a minute. Just gonna thread my needle. Maybe. I'm seriously the worst at this. Okay, and then you're gonna take your little tentacle thing and just Take a spot and you can literally do it, I wouldn't do it out here, but if you want to do it like in here or in here, that's probably where I'd do it. I think I'm going to do mine like right in here. So you're just going to pull it up as far as you can. And I would probably go 
in a couple of times. time I'm gonna tie it off. Just kidding, I'm gonna go twice and tie it off both times to really secure it. And then you're gonna wanna do the same thing, just find an area, poke it through, and then bring it out the side of your jellyfish. And then take your yarn off. So this is your first one. This we're gonna cut off, and then this we're gonna cut off. Alright, so now you're going to add your second one. You're just going to continue doing, um, you're just going to continue adding these little tentacles until you've added them all. And I will meet you back when I am on my last one. Okay, so I am on my last tentacle thingy, and um, as you can see, I'm just threading my needle. I don't know if you can hear the TV in the background or my son's NASCAR toy, but if so, I'm really sorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw this one in there probably, I don't know, about here. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in right here. Alright. Just throw in a couple stitches to tie it in there. I don't know if you can hear my other son yelling. It's more of a giggling yell. He's learned his voice, found his voice, I guess. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm gonna throw this one in here. Okay. Pull my needle off. Okay, so now you just wanna go through and cut. I wouldn't cut it super, super short, but at least short enough where you're not gonna be able to notice it. Okay, so, um, this, this I think I'm actually, because, oh my gosh, there's so much strength. Um, I'm going to tuck this one into the animal before I cut it, so I'm just going to 
throw a stitch, well not a stitch, but my needle in right there and pull that down. Ouch. Okay, and then after that you're going to go through and you're going to pull these tight so that they go back in. Be very careful not to get your actual stitches because that would um, that would mess up the whole entire hamburger animal. Watch your fingers. All right, I think this is all scrap. Okay, so. Now you have made your little jellyfish. Hey guys, really hope you enjoyed making this jellyfish with me. Um, if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for future content. Um, I do have plans for uploading a few more immigrant animals and patterns that um, I want to accomplish more in the future. But I hope you had just as much fun as I did making this little jellyfish. And again, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for future content, hit that little bell so you make sure that you get notified. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day.